everyone, it is Marie here from Skeins. Well, how's your Monday going today? Glorious here in the Bay, and I'm a bit later than usual because it has been such a full on day because all the New Southlander has come in. I am so excited. But we've also had a huge number of new yarns back as well, ones we've been waiting for for a while, and a whole bunch of different things going on. So I thought I'd kick in and show you a whole bunch of different things that have been happening um, over the last week here. And they all tie in beautifully with our theme this month, which is crazy for colour. And firstly, I have to say I am loving seeing all the colourful patterns that have been popping up and works in progress and finished items over on the Speak Easy page. And I'm really pleased to see that a whole bunch of you are getting involved with Outlaw October as well. And you're also posting those Outlaw projects and you're double posting them across to the Outlaw October Ravelry page page or get information if you need to on the Outlaw Yarn uh, web, uh, Facebook page and you can actually go on the draw for Outlaw October for $250 shopping spree. Not just one, not just two, not just three, but no, five of these puppies. Deb is being incredibly generous. Um, loads and loads of different categories for you to enter. And those shopping sprees are at your favorite retailer, um, out your Outlaw Yarn retailer. Doesn't have to be Outlaw Yarn, she says. I think she's mad because why wouldn't you want to do Outlaw? But your favorite retailer and you get one, of, if you could win a shopping spree, and of course, why wouldn't you want to spend it with us? Because $250 goes a million miles with us, doesn't it? You can get a lot of yarn here for $250. So yeah, thank you for everyone that's double posting on those. So two chances to win. I do have to apologize though. I haven't had a chance to actually, I've got three price packs um, being made up. I haven't had a chance to actually draw those. I think what I'll do is actually jump over on the speakeasy on Thursday and actually draw those over there. Um, so you won't miss out because there's so many of them there. Oh, thank you, Diana. She's just saying I look really great. Thank you. It's because I'm feeling good. It's Monday. Weather is fine. It's school holidays. I'm at work. The children are not with me, which is Great. Anywho, anywho, um, I'll show you what I've been working on first and then I will kick into some of the new stuff. I finally got blocked um, at the end of last week, my Niata. So you've been seeing this, so there it is, all fun. As you can see, it's nice and relaxed. Now, look how much, but look how big that puppy is. Look at that, huge. Um, so this is uh, two 100 gram skeins of uh, bleating art four ply, um, which I think she calls her pacemaker sock. Uh, in the 1931, uh, this is dyed over our naked skeins base, which we absolutely adore. But look at those colours. Aren't they just amazing? Absolutely amazing. And um, we are very fond of Alice's work here. She's one of our incredible uh local indie dyes we're really lucky to have um some amazing talent here in hawks bay alice being one and virginia um from orange tail being another so we're super spoiled and yeah that was my can purchase and it's so good to have it finished and we all know what a fan of this pattern i am but no really um really really thrilled with that so i've already had a chance to wear it a couple of times so i'm most happy with that because we had it yes, whilst it's warm today we have had a couple of cooler days here in the bay ironically the new project i'm working on um some of you may have seen the instagram post i popped up i think it was last week uh i did a swatch i'm doing a project it's not a commission piece per se it's actually sort of a, a gift it's something for a, a good friend who lives in the u.s who is cricket mad and of course doesn't get to have a lot of cricket input in um, the west coast of the USA, not exactly a core sport in, uh, in California. So uh, whenever we catch up uh, with these friends, they get very, I, I always make a point of talking cricket with him because he doesn't get to talk cricket with anybody else. And so he, I wanted to do him a classic cricket vest. So I did a wee swatch, there's my swatch. Just to prove that we do swatch people. And you know why this is really important? And I'll, I'll show you why I did this, because this is, um, I was doing it as a cable, couldn't find a vest pattern that was going to fit with what I wanted. And so I ended up digging out a photograph of a jumper, a full jumper, that is for sale um, on an Indian cricket 
clothing website and from that I'm extrapolating back doing some knit maths and a few other jiggery pokery things to create this. So, so I did my swatch and so because of that I washed it and blocked it because I wanted to see what the finished measurements were going to be and I also wanted to see because they use quite an elongated cable in Cricut jumpers as opposed to a more compact Aran cable. So I needed to do that. This is in the Heritage Polworth, by the way. Um, I opted for the Heritage Polworth as opposed to the Southlander. I originally was going to do it in the Southlander. But I went with the Heritage Polworth in the end, primarily because I needed to also get something that was going to work with these colours here because this person's favourite cricket team is the Indian cricket team and these are the Indian cricket team colours. So hence the reason for that. And this is where I'm at so far. And look at the difference. Just you can see here's my book swatch in so you can have a look. But see, look at the difference between, oops, move that out of the way. Between, look at that. Between the blocked sample and the unblocked sample, it relaxes quite considerably. Um, but I tell you what, I'm loving knitting this. I, you forget, you know, when you, you forget how good some of it, I mean, this yarn is just, so amazing. Um, Heritage Polworth, that's just in the ecru. It's got that slight sheepiness to it because it's only um, steamed. It's not coloured. It's a natural shade. It's like knitting butter. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm really enjoying it. I, 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 as you can see, I got cracked on. I started actually started this over the weekend, got a lot done. And, um, oh, it's a really pleasurable thing to do. It's been... Um, Quite enjoying it because essentially it's a six by two rib with a cable every twelfth row on every second rib. So I mean it's not a you know we're not talking rocket science here, but it's um, just enough to keep you interested and in wanting to go to the next level, but not so much that um, you can't have a couple of wee winesies and watch the telly and like, watch the rugby like I did over the weekend and, and do all of that. So. That's what I am working on at the moment and thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. Now, the important news is we've got loads of yarn. I know, yes, I know it's October and I know the sun is out and we don't have as much time in the day to get all the knitting. Look, we're all there. But you've cleared your UFOs now, you've cleared your Area 51, you've, you'll be casting on new projects. Um, the first thing that's back is warm. Our 14 ply went like absolute hotcakes and it went so well that we have put it back, um, actually created it as a range. We were just clearing some 14 ply base stocks that we had. Uh, we've put it back into a three fold across the entire range. Uh, some were three fold, some were two fold. All of those are now back in and live on the website. I will pop a link in the comments. Live on the website, except Brunswick, which was the green. Uh, we have actually, we've not repeated that color. That was the slowest seller by a country mile. However, because, you know, we tooketh, so we giveth something back. We've added this little bloke in there called Claret. Um, it is a, a basically a really wonderful, rich, deep maroon. And we added this in there because with the grey, uh, the silver, the grey, the charcoal, the, and the gold, this maroon just really works so, so well. Um, and there's a lot of colour work around at the moment. Which is part of the reason why we chose Crazy for Colour as a theme. These awesome stranded mosaic colour work. I talked about um, Strong Brew from Tin Can Knits, the new pattern collection last week. An incredible collection of intage, oh not intage, of stranded colour work. Anything from two colour all the way up to about five colour colour work, whether it be yoked or, or ferile. But colour work is the big noise at the moment. And the number of collections that have been launched with some form of colour work uh, has been huge. So warm is great for chunky colour work. Or we've now got loads of other things that you can do for colour work. And I'm going to talk about the Southlander in a second. But before I get there, other ones, if you want to do something bright and fun and funky. And this was honestly such a big hit. Um, earlier in the year was our Chatswood. You guys loved Chatswood and we love Chatswood. So we managed to scrounge together um, enough 
for another waste blend. We've been so busy with other things, we were able to get another one of these recycled blends. Um, it's just as soft and delicious as the first blend. It's uh, it's actually slightly, slightly lighter. The Sheffield is slightly lighter than the original Sheffield that we had. So that's the original, oh, that's the Sheffield there. I've got an original one, Blue. She suddenly, and yes, I do. Look, oh, stop it! My magical drawer of trips. So sorry. Oh, actually, no, it isn't. It's it's a slightly um, the original Sheffield. Oopsie, there you go. So this is the new one here. The original Sheffield sort of was it had a more of a uh, a cooler tone, grey tone. This new one is a slightly warmer tone, um, but they're very very similar. But it is a great great yarn, and we were. <sighs> Every, everybody loved it. Awesome price because we're able to pass those cost savings on because it's recycled. So, number one favourite Sheffield is back, along with his usual bunch of friends, which is South End, Brighton, uh, what is that one? Chelsea, uh, Chelsea, yes, Chelsea, yes, Chelsea and Somerset, which is those guys there. Boom, boom, boom. We've taken out Manchester and Kew Gardens, which was the emerald green and the uh, red, because again, they were the, the two saddest, slowest sellers. But what we have added, ta-da, is this purple and this beautiful, rich, russety orange. And we've done this for a very, very specific reason. One is because loads of people like to do some really tonal shades. Look at those with the purple. Awesome. Or if you're going to jump across the opposite side of the color wheel, um, when you jump across the opposite side, look at that, because that is a yellowy based green, look at that with the Windsor, this one is called Windsor, which is the new purple, and you, of course, blues and oranges are such good friends. So, and when you fire them all together, look at that, as, oopsie, there, uh, there we go, look at that, oh, oh. don't they look fantastic? And they really do pop, the, they, they really, again, look great as a colour collection. And then you add your Sheffield across the side as a neutral. And, it, yeah, it just all works, really all works. So if you're wanting some fantastic value um, DK 100% wool yarn that is not going to bust your bag, $3.95 wool, these are all up and live. Now, I've been busy today. Tell you, I've been really busy today. And the last thing that I've been uber, uber busy with is South London. And I've been talking about this for about, oh, actually I mentioned it even before I went away on holiday. I've been talking about it since I got back. So excited because they've been taking, they've been actually coming through for about the last six weeks, but because it's a couple of full ranges, it's been something that has taken a while and I wanted to pretty much get the complete range for you before we actually popped it out. Now there are a couple of yarns missing and they are oatmeal, which we aren't ready to do an oatmeal batch at the moment. And when we do a batch of uh, natural blended yarns like that, we have to do about half a ton. So that's part of the reason why that oatmeal hasn't come through. It will come through into the range when that oatmeal needs to roll around, which hopefully will be in the first part of next year. And um, one of the new colours in the DK has not quite come in. It is just coming in and a, being tracking through. It's the last one to track through, but I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. So what we've done is South Linda has been one of our original yarns. It's been a, a skeins and design stun staple since forever. And it is... One of my favourite yarns that we have in our entire range. It is a classic 100% New Zealand yarn. It is as Kiwi as it gets, this yarn. All the yarn, all the fibre is grown here in New Zealand. It is processed here on site. It is that really classic, rustic, um, natural yarn. When I was up in the States just recently, that was, that style of yarn was the hot ticket. All those beautiful um, natural heathered colours and dyed over heathered shades. And we've been doing that with South Linda now for about six or seven years. And they've been hugely popular. And we've also extended those into silver lining. But with South Linda, we've only ever had our DK range. 
as many of you have noticed, we've transitioned from doing the, the old style hanks and the arms and the chairs. We thought really actually none of us have the time for that anymore, do we? So we've actually been putting them into big, whopping great big jumbo balls for you so you don't have to, you know, put the children into labour to, to get all those bits and pieces done. So we've been doing it into balls. And the other brainway we've had is our DK, South into DK, is at the heavier end of double knitting. And to be honest, it actually straddles that boundary between double knitting and air and weight. And that's quite deliberate because it means that if you want to do a classic Guernsey or a classic airing pattern, you can. If you want to knit it for in a 22 stitch and slightly firmer tension uh, for a DK uh, project, you can. And it will wear the wearability on the stuff is just the business and it will look as good as the day you pulled it off the needles it really is fantastic I love it and I have knitted a load of things in it um, and every time I do something in it I think oh gosh I so love this because it is it's what I remember learning how to knit on when I went out in it so we, some, we thought, well, it makes sense, actually, to expand that range because there are some incredible patterns now coming out with some key designers using that natural style, those rustic yarns. And a lot of these patterns are in a sort of uh, four-ply, five-ply sport-ish weight at that sort of 20 to 24 to 26 stitch per 10 centimetre tension. And at the other end, there's a whole lot of pad patterns coming out in that bulky 12 ply ish weight at that 16, 18 to 16 stitch tension. And we've sort of kind of had a bit of a, a gap there. Not anymore. So I'd like to introduce you to, and I'll pull out two of the new colours so you can see them when I ugh, drag them out. We have now got, ooh, and I'll grab you, and I'll grab, grab you. Um, we have now bought this out in Southlander Sport, or Five Ply, and there it is in cream. And we've also bought it out in oh, 12 Ply. Ta da! And new funky new label as well, look at that. So, what we've gone and done to make this simple is that our DK, it's always, these have always been 200 gram balls. Nice, big, huge thunder balls. We have three new colours to the range across all three variants. So both Sport, DK and Bulky. And those three new colours are Goldenrod, which is the last one to come through on the DK. It's almost here, so don't panic, it is coming. So that is a classic heathered mustard. Loganberry, which is a really deep, rich um, damson plum colour. And Lake Blue, look at that. A really intensely shaded dark blue. So these are all quite three deep dark colours. Now, these are quite deliberately so because we wanted them to really pop with their natural contrast, which in this case, oh, there we go, are the cream and the bracken. So as you can see, don't, I mean, that just is a little colour story. Oopsie, there you go. That is a little colour story on their own. Looks incredible. Now, those five colours are now all available, both in Sport and 12 ply, and the golden rods coming very soon, and also DK. So you'll get all of those there. That strong brew pattern collection that I talked about last week would look incredible in these yarns. And in fact, we've taken one of those strong brew patterns. We've, we've bought the pattern collection here, and we're actually getting a sample made up in the shop. So when that is done, I can show you that. Um, but just amazing for. I mean, oh, What's not to love with that? And again, we've all of those are in the um, 12 ply, and we've also then also gone and translated those out into. See, look at those. Those are, that's the existing range. That's um, oh gosh, I'm so bad at orient, orientating these. Um, Misty rose, gypsy green, dusky blue. Beautiful. The handle. 
it's a rustic handle, but it is actually, I mean, for outerwear, perfect. But to be honest with you, like, I mean, the handle, we've actually done a bit of work on this. I actually think that, I mean, I would wear this next to my skin, particularly um, if I was wanting to do a lightweight cardigan for the summer or something to wrap and throw over, I think this would be perfect. Um, it does soften beautifully with the wash. Actually, in fact, the 12 ply feels great really does feel good. In these 12 plies, um, the 12 ply colours, I have to say, um, are perfect because if you've bought the McEwen and Mackay, and there are still McEwen and Mackay available, which is the um, heathered dark blue and the heathered scarlet, uh, which are still on sale, on the sale page. Well, honestly, those matched up with the cream and the bracken and also too let's not forget charcoal I mean the color you've got look at those I mean those are just the the natural so you've got an endless supply of color work options available so really really excited about these they're um, something that we've been wanting to do for a long long time and I think they really speak to a lot of the patterns that are available at the moment. Uh, I just jumped on before, actually, before I went live to have a look. Um, Kate Davies, if you don't follow Kate Davies, she's got the most beautiful pattern collections. She takes modern twists on classic um, Shetland and Scottish knitting techniques and knitting styles. Both um, the, the 12 ply, the DK, and the 4 ply, the entire Southland range, you having a look at a multiple number of the patterns she has in her collections, will be easily, easily substituted for yarns that you can't get readily here in New Zealand. So, yeah, really, oh, honestly, I can't tell you how thrilled I am um, with these. They really are just fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. So, these are all live now. You just need to go to the Southland tab. Um, I think the bulkies are listed first, then the full plies, and then you'll see the DKs. Don't be alarmed that you'll see most of the DKs still photographed in Hanks. I'm just getting round to re-photographing those uh, in the big jumbo balls, so that will happen very soon. But do pick these up. $14.95 for a 200 gram ball, which is the DK and the 12 ply. What I did not mention is these sport balls those ones there, are actually 100 grams because the meterage on these is 303 meters on one of these and a four ply which is the same way, which is the same as the 12 ply um, and 200 grams. So fantastic value, loads of meters there and you can get plenty of products, you know, plenty, plenty of mileage out of those if you want. These guys here are, I think, seven ninety five. Yep, seven ninety five for the for the uh, five by fourteen ninety five for the other two DK and twelve by. Yes. No, so I'm, oh, so excited! Really, really excited about those. I will um. As the week goes on, I'll actually photograph those up um, and some work all together so you can actually all see them together and arrange and get some better context around them. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to mention as well, if now that we're on the theme of colour, uh, we if you got the new setter last week, we have got still continuing until the 14th. Outlaw Bohemia Sport, yes, Outlaw Bohemia Sport, everybody's favourite. If you're looking for a colour project and an Outlaw October project, we've got Sport on sale for $9.95 a ball, and we've also got the uh, Queen Bee. Queen Bee is $19.95 a hank, it's a big 200 gram hank, and if you actually get on and get those now, those Queen Bee hanks are brilliant for the kids, they're brilliant for projects, brilliant for weaving, brilliant for bulky macrame, brilliant for super fast crochet uh, blankets, and the colours are just fantastic, really bright, really fun, very funky. And as I said before, if you cross post both, both on Speakeasy for Crazy for Colour, and also over onto the Outlaw uh, page in Revelry, and you can check out also um, postings and stuff on the Facebook page. That she's Debs has got all those shopping sprees available. So that's plenty to keep us going this week. I will get a newsletter out 
later in the week with a whole load of details there for you and um, there's still more yarns coming in I caught up with a crew today and we've still got some stuff pumping through the mill so don't panic there's going to be plenty of yarn to be had over the summer and plenty of things to keep you knitting uh, whilst you're hopefully kicking back and relaxing and enjoying sort of the finer weather or the end of the school holidays or whatever it is that you you might be doing through the summer months so until then Check out those two yarns and I will talk to you again soon. See you later. Bye.